Hello everybody, it's Big Beardy. I am back again with another Sunday report. I love doing the Sunday report. This is where I just get to chat to you guys and let you know what my week's been like. So let's get the uh, the the work out of the way, what I've been doing. Um, I've been doing multi drops this week. A lot of multi drops. Um, from Tuesday to Saturday, I was doing multi drops. I don't particularly like multi drops. It's not what I want to be doing. I prefer the same day stuff. Pick up, take somewhere, drop off. But with everything that's going on, you got to take what you can get. You know, if if you're getting offered four or five days work multi dropping, take it because it's guaranteed money basically. And it's day rate. It's you probably can make more. Uh, well, I'm not going to say probably. You can make more doing same day. But that's one job. You know, you're going to get one lot of money, at least with the multi drops. You've got four or five days, maybe a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks, depending on who you're going with, of constant work. And it's been a bit weird this week because um, where I've been picking up from it originally was like the f Tuesday, I was told to get there for 10, which is a late start for me anyway. Uh, and I didn't get loaded till about one. Now, because it's day rate, I can't really turn around and ask for waiting time because you 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 basically said I'm going to be there for the day. It, it's one of those, so I, I didn't really care. I just chilled out, and then the next day they said the same again, and I, I stayed because it's only 20 minutes from home. I stayed at home, waited, and then uh, they phoned me up. They sent me the message saying, "Oh, your, your load's going to be ready in half hour," and then I drove down. Same thing. Didn't get loaded to one, so not getting finished to about six, but it's still only four or five hours work, which. For day rate, ain't too bad. It really isn't. Just got my coffee. Um, yeah, so that was my week. Uh, multi drops, which was it was it was quite difficult, and I'll tell you why. It wasn't because of the job. I think on like the Wednesday, I have pulled my heel. How you pull your heel? Like my heel is in. There's no bruising. There's nothing. But when I walk, it's there's a lot of pain <laughs> so that was a bit annoying and i'm running as well it was i didn't do it while running i did it i think jumping out the van and it just twigged a little bit and it's getting worse and worse so I've, i'm sort of taking a rest today um so it made the job quite difficult by by you know yesterday i was in i, I, I was not enjoying it i was in a lot of pain but you do what you gotta do and that brings me on to my uh next bit really like i've been i've started doing this uh, thing with my brothers Aaron and Liam, yeah, the, the, one of these virtual challenges, because uh, as some of you may know who watch the Sunday Report and, and the Fat But Fit, I'm trying to get fit, I'm, I'm going to do an episode every uh, at the end of each month about me trying to get fit, but I'd start doing one of these virtual challenges, um, it, the, the website's called The Conqueror or something like that, they, and I'm doing it with my brothers, they don't actually know I've got a YouTube channel. Um, I want them to find it by accident and then be like, you've got a YouTube channel. What, what's going on here? And Because that would amuse me. I don't know why. Alex. I'm just a bit weird. So we're, we're doing it all together and trying to run with a bust heel. And like we're, we're, we're racing each other and I can barely run. And my little brother like runs 10K for fun. And my big brother's a bit like me. He, has, he needs to lose a load of weight. <laughs> so it, it, I'm, I'm sort of... Um, I'm in a bit of trouble here. I think I might lose this miserably, but these things happen. So, uh, what's been going on in the world? The, the usual at the moment. Um, you know, the, the the coronavirus is still got us all in lockdown. It, it, it's not, it feels like nothing's happening. It's it's almost like the world is on pause. I know this massive event is happening, but like usually, lots of things are happening at the same time, and then a big event will happen, and that will consume the news for a, a couple of days or a week and then it's back to sort of normal but this it this is consuming everything and it's going on for weeks and weeks and rightly so but there's there's nothing like there's no sport at all and usually you sort of break up the monotony of the of your working week with like the football at the weekend or the big fight or you know the fa cup midweek or so but there's nothing going on so it's it just feels like everything's on pause it feels like Every day is the same as the next day. Even though I am still going out and get making money and still working, it's still it's all very weird. And I've said that a lot of times. It's very weird, and it is. It's like the world. The, everyone's gone right. Stop. We're just going to st stick at this moment for a while, and then in a few months we'll start again. <laughs> Which is crazy, really. But I was speaking to my friend Stu, um, one of my best mates. Uh, Stu, how you doing, mate? And we were talking about. 
what else I can do on this chat? I, I've got a lot of videos I want to do regarding, obviously, curry driving. I've got a long list of videos I want to throw out to you guys to help everyone. But what else can I throw into these uh, these videos I'm doing to sort of um, mix it up a little bit, maybe? Throw a different sort of video out there. So we were thinking, why not do things... I did a tramping video earlier in the week, and I was thinking, why don't I review some of the stuff we use? as courier drivers, rather than just, oh, you know, this is a sat about. So I want you guys, if you can, you don't have to, send me some links or some suggestions of things you use in your van which people might not use. It, they can be good, they can be bad, they can be awful. Um, Chris C sent me, all right, Chris, how you doing, mate? He sent me a link to a, like a, a mini generator. This thing looks amazing. It's got USB port. You can charge your phone by just putting it on top. You can. It looks like you can run a whole house off the thing. It's like 250 quid though, so it's a bit pricey. I'm not going to go out and buy one of them. But thanks for the um the suggestion, Chris. That's one of those. If you if you are a regular tramper, maybe go and have a look at. It. If you go and look at the comments in um on my tramping video, you should see the link. He's put it on there. Thanks for that, Chris. Um, but that. I'm, I'm really am tempted to get one just for when I go camping because it looks amazing. But things like that, just send me anything. I don't, if the, I think they're good or, or I think actually yeah, I could, and they're not too pricey. I'm not made of money, but I'll go and buy it wherever it may be, and I'll give it I'll give it a go. I'll give it a bash and do a review, and let you know if they're, they're good, bad, or indifferent. Like you know, I'm trying to think what I've got in my van, which most people don't. I like I, I showed this the other day. The, the little lights that they're quite. You get these, especially if you're tramping. But, uh, ah, here we go. This is stupid. This will this will work. I've got one of these. Most people probably don't have them. Right, very simple. You just stick your pens in, and it goes on top of you. It's like the old CD holders. You remember them? Um, you, most people don't have them anymore because most people don't have CD uh, players in their cars or MP3s and all that. Um, but yeah, like just stuff like that. Just send me something. Let me know what you think. I oh, put that on the wrong way. Oh well, we'll sort it out later. So. If you've got anything, any little device or um, gadget or something in your van, or anything at all, actually, send me some suggestions. I'll get it, I'll use it, and I'll tell you what I think of it. If it's good, bad, or indifferent. I, and and maybe we can have an old laugh at my expense, because, you know, why not? What else will be happening? The only news that I can actually think of is um, Newcastle United might be getting bought out. And that makes me very happy, because I am a Newcastle United fan. I thought you might, might have noticed a little scarf here. For my sins, my family are all Geordies, and we all support Newcastle, and you, you support your, your your family's team, and I've been a long-suffering Newcastle United fan. And hopefully we're going to get bought out. Now, there's a lot of uh, um, people talking about the fact that human rights issues with the people who are buying and that. I don't know enough about that. I haven't actually looked into it enough. All I know is my cash needs to go. That's it. But that's where I'll leave that subject. Other things have been happening with me. I've... <laughs> this van is doing my nutting. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've got a warning light on my van. I'm get taking it in Monday. It's uh, something to do with the um, exhaust filter. This van has broken down on me a lot. It's been a real big issue for me. Um... Every time I'm sort of getting ahead financially and things are going well, this van seems to break down. I'm, you know, she is a workhorse, but she's got some issues. And she's only done like 60,000 miles. And I'm, I'm having to replace a lot. So it, it's really starting to grate on me. You know, you, you sort of fall in love. Your van has a personality. My van has a personality. She will work five days and die the ne on the next five days. She, she's off, on, off, on. Um, it's a Ford Transit. Uh, 350 or oh, 300 is it 300 3500 free, free, no it's 350 model and she's just been a pain in the ass so you know i might change it up for my next van i'll be honest it's really doing my nut in because i've just had a new um cat cat put on it i've had a new clutch which i shouldn't really um and i'll be honest the, the ford garage i take it well used to take it to um a certain Ford garage in Norwich, they were a pain in the ass. They, I, I don't want to, you know, slag people off, but they were awful. So she's got another light. She's getting looked at by someone else on Monday. 
my my mobile mechanic has who did the cat. He's unable to do it. So um, at hi Andy, how you doing, mate? He's he's a good lad. He's good good lad, Andy. I would I would usually use him to get the job done, but he, he can't do it. So I've got to take it somewhere else. But this go bring, brings me back to something I've said in other videos about when you do, you know you become a courier repairs and stuff you know you can keep your van in the best nick as possible but sometimes things come up and they, you just can't you know you can't see it coming when the light flashes up, and that's why i said in all those as soon as you see a light flash up get it sorted this flashed up on saturday and i was like right it's going straight into their garage getting it sorted because it can turn into a bigger problem so that's been my frustration of the week my heels killing me and my van's messing up on me which is pissing me off but i'm all right I'm still in it, and I'm still working, which is the main thing. Um, I'm still healthy, thank God. Um, one of my biggest worries going out each day and doing this multi-trop was, am I going to get ill? Am I going to make my family ill? I haven't. I haven't made my family ill. I feel fine. So I've either been lucky or, you know, I've been careful. I like to think I've been careful. I've been as careful as possible. You know, I've got a hand wash in the car. I've been, you know, social distancing. When I've been doing the multi drops off, I drop it off. I walk to the end of the driveway. I let them open the door. But some places are crazy. Like, I have I was at, um, where was I? I think it was a Tesco somewhere. I can't remember where it was. They, they're queuing you up to let you in. You know, saying one in, one out, which is fine. I get into the store and within 10 seconds, People are barging past me to get to what they want to grab. It's like, but, <laughs> you know, and it is. You, you go to the supermarket now. And I think it's because it's been going on so long. People are getting a bit lax. They're getting a bit, oh, why well, am I going to, it's not. And, you know, standard slip. At the beginning, it was like everyone was staying the hell of away from each other. Now, it's like, no, I, I need to grab my, my peppers. Get out of the way. <laughs> so, you know, I would say to everyone out there, not that, thousands of people watch this but please start you know there's there's people working still and let's just try and get our social distancing back how it was I, no one's gonna pay a damn bit of notice to me but that's it really it's been it's been a really nice sunny day, uh, week we had a bit of rain yesterday but apart from that it, it's almost like the uh mother nature's kicking us whilst we're down with this lovely weather but that's what happens that's what happens in the world so uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please uh, like, comment, subscribe. Please, um, obviously, if there is something you use in your van and you use it on a daily basis or it, you, you might have bought something thinking this is going to be great and it's absolutely awful, please leave a comment and a link or whatever and I'll buy it and I'll try it. And if I think it's good, well, no matter what it is, I'll, I might if, there, if there's three or four crap ones, I might do them all in one video. I might do separate videos. But send me some links. I want to try some shit out. There's stuff you guys out there use, which maybe might help me. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, be safe out there and have a great day. And it's not turning off now. <laughs>